Hey guys, welcome to our fourth devlog. Let's just get right into it. As you guys can see, we have a new logo, or well, it's not new, it's completely revamped. So I hope you guys like this new logo. Um, I want to start off this video with coding and animation. Normally we start with art, but um, yeah, I want to switch things up this time. So something really cool that we've been able to do is we got multiplayer working with Steam. Previously, if you want to want to test networking, you would need to build the game uh, twice or use the editor and a standalone version in order to test multiplayer. That is no longer the case. We can now actually upload a build to Steam and this allows us to host and join each other's game, which is super crucial, which means that we're getting closer and closer to finally be able to get you guys the game and play with each other online. Which is really cool. So that's the first thing. Something else that we've been starting to do is shaders. Um, the one in the background is a dissolve one, which is, uh, is going to be used if a enemy has been dead for like a minute or something, and it needs to be despawned. So then we're using this really cool shader. But we're also going to use it for other things like items or weapons, and then we're going to use other variations or other shaders in general. And uh, yeah, we're kind of hoping to give a little bit more flair. To, to the game with this uh, with these shaders. It's really cool. Then we also are working towards procedural animations. Um, one of our devs has been doing a lot of uh, research about this uh, topic, and what al what this allows us to do is uh, to shift away from the more traditional way that animations um, were are normally made in, because we tend to use keyframes. And for those who don't know what keyframes are. Basically what we do is we set points on a timeline with information. So if we have a hand, the first point says, hey, the hand's over here. And the second point's like, okay, now I've moved over here, which creates motion. And this is really nice, but procedural animation is a lot easier and more smooth. So this is really gonna help us make a lot of cool animations in the, in the future. And it's script based, so we don't have to uh, use uh, a 3D animation software. Now, something else, something else we're also working on in terms of animation and coding is that we are working on detecting um, which animation needs to be played based on the velocity. So normally, if you press W, the script would say in Unity, hey, play this animation because I'm pressing forward. How we are going to do things, however, is that the script's now going to check, hey, I've pressed forward, am I going X amount of speed, is it fast enough to be running, then I'm going to play the running animation, which is going to result in a much smoother transitioning and more realistic, um, yeah, animation system. It's really cool. Then, um, we got combat working a little bit better uh, compared to previous devlog. Um, something that's working now is multiplayer, which means that if you and I were to be playing online, in quest for redemption and i were to hit an enemy you can actually see me damaging the enemy which is super cool and very useful of course if you're playing in a party or you see somebody else fighting an enemy it's just really really interesting and important to know uh what what, what the other guy is doing and yeah, this is this is like the, the the most important thing to get the PVE and PvP systems working, and uh, yeah, this, this is just so great that we already got like this this basic version working, and we're obviously gonna iterate on it. And we're gonna make it really really polished, but yeah, we're we're really getting there. Then finally, for the coding department, is that we got questing working. First of all, we made it more appealing. You know, we used the uh, UI stuff that has been made. Um, then the quest tracker underneath the minimap actually works now, which is really cool. Uh, previously, it was just a, a sprite, just an, an image, but now it's actually tracking the quest that you've picked up, which is great. Um, and uh, elements like uh, the NPC names and the quest markers uh, now move towards the camera as well, which is uh, which is nice, a nice quality of life improvement. And even though the visual changes might seem a little bit minor. In the background, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, cleaning up has been done and uh, a bit of uh, setup to track multiple quests at a time. So expect that next in the next devlog in uh, two weeks. 
All right, then we have audio. Uh, once again, great progress. We got audio to work with multiplayer as well. Uh, and this is mostly like the uh, character bound audio. So if you attack somebody or you walk around, you can hear the footsteps or you can hear like the sword impacting a enemy or uh, something else. And although this is the bare minimum, we're obviously going to be adding a lot more cool sounds to it. Uh, but just being able to get it to work with multiplayer is such a huge step in the, in the right direction. So that's great. Uh, lastly, we also made a lot of progress on the ambient sounds. A great example is the waterfall that you can uh, probably hear in the background. And um, we're going to be doing a lot more of the ambient sounds as well. And uh, it sounds great and uh, it might not feel as great in the video. But when you, when you play the actual game, which I've been uh, able to do, it sounds so cool. It's really cool. Alright, then finally, art. Uh, guys, you might have you you might have to sit down for this because we have a big announcement to make, which is that we're going to revamp our art style, and we're gonna do that um, because we've encountered some. Well, we haven't encountered any problems, but we predict that it's gonna cost us a lot of time if we don't switch now. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch from the hand painted texturing technique to a gradient based technique this is such a such a time saver because normally if we for example have made a building it would take around one two maybe sometimes even three weeks to texture a building with this new technique it only takes us 20 seconds to two minutes to texture an actual building which is a incredible, incredible improvement. Now, we can actually confirm this because at the moment we're converting all our props that we've made to the existing technique and this is just going super rapidly. We're almost already done. So, you know, us switching to this style has been such a, such a great decision. And I kind of want to elaborate on that because I'm going to spoil a few things for you guys that might um, explain a little bit better why we think this was so crucial. Because at the moment we didn't really feel any time pressure but, you know, pretty soon we really want to bring this game out as a, as a early access game and then you guys are going to be able to buy the game for a low price and test it with us. And, and just play the game and all the content that we've made up until that point. But the Kickstarter is also going to have some really cool uh, things like making your own character. But also if you pledge a huge amount you're also going to be able to design your own area. Like for example if you want a really big capital or you want like a cool beast cave something then that is something we want to be able to provide. And we predict that if we would have sticked to the old texturing method, there's no way we would have been able to complete that kind of huge task in a short amount of time. So with this new technique, we most definitely will be able to do that. So that's just, yeah, we're really happy with this change. We also think that it's gonna be a little bit more eye appealing this style because um, although the art style, the hand painted art style looked really good, we think that this new art style is going to be uh, more approachable by a larger audience. And um, yeah, we're really, really yeah, excited for this change. And we're obviously really curious of what you guys think, because we've already reached the end of the devlog now. Um, so please comment down below what you guys think of this change. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Um, anything is welcome be sure to 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 like or dislike and um, yeah well we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye